beings in a lie What's a lie to a king? What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non-believer Who don't believe in Childhood obesity has been an increasing problem over the past few years, yet the question still remains. What is the main reason why childhood obesity develops? Indeed, parents, uh, we do play, if not the only role, the main role with children are obese. Uh, we do not discipline them, we don't tell them what's wrong, with respect to all these sugar things that we buy them. I think parents contribute to uh, child obesity by not encouraging their kids to exercise and by not um, giving them the proper nutrition or a healthy diet. Nevertheless, studies have revealed that one of the greatest contributors to the development of this health condition can be traced back to the children's lack of physical activities. According to the American Heart Association, the advancement in technology has led to a decrease in children's recreational activities. This has made the new generation become lazier compared to past generations. The importance of exercising 30 minutes a day for a young kid, it stops from getting overweight. It makes them have some kind of discipline on their lives. In addition, psychologists have suggested that stress derived from family problems or low socioeconomic conditions can lead to obesity in a young individual's life. Genetic nutrition, physical activity, and family factors all contribute to obesity in children and adolescents. Overweight children are more likely to develop many health problems like high cholesterol, heart disease, asthma, internalizing problems in which anger is directed inward, causing high levels of depression, or externalizing problems expressing anger through aggressive behavior, defiance, and backtalk. One of the most common mental health effects of being overweight is social discrimination. The psychological stress of social stigmatization can cause low self-esteem, which can hinder academic functioning. Childhood obesity originates from various factors which can have fatal effects on a child's life. Although many believe that parents are the main source to this problem, studies have revealed that lack of physical activity is one of the greatest contributors to this health condition. In addition, the APA has revealed that lack of sleep, stress derived from family conflict, social discrimination, and low self-esteem all make a child more prone to consuming greater amounts of food. In order to solve this issue, it is necessary for children to be physically active at least 30 minutes a day. It is also important for children to have regular counseling to increase self-esteem and have a journal to express their feelings. They should also be socially active by engaging in activities with family and friends. A final solution is learning to relax and managing stress in order to achieve self-control to regulate eating habits. For more information, visit the American Heart Association and the American Psychological Association.